I am Dr. Astrid Apor, working at Samuel Weiss University, Budapest. And the evaluation of the pathomechanism of mitral regurgitation is very important. So I use iRotate, I put my transducer on the apical window, and we can rotate the scan plane along the central longitudinal axis without manual rotation of the probe. And we can find the most representative vena contracta, the biggest extension of the jet, the biggest pisa. And another method is uh, the X-plane. So with a steerable reference line, we can cut through the medial scallops, the mid scallops, and the lateral scallops. So these two techniques, I rotate and X-plane, are very, very useful in the daily routine. We can save on a lot of time, and we will have a much more accurate diagnosis regarding the pathomechanism of the mitral regurg and we can also use it for teaching purposes. I'm a Vidikiancho from Bucharest, Romania and I'm working in the Institute of Emergency for Cardiovascular Disease, Professor C.C. Iliescu, which is an academic hospital. During stress echocardiography, I rotate allows to complete an entire stress echo protocol, including standard apical for chamber view, three chamber view, and two chamber view without manual intervention. The rotation for two and three chamber view are coming for non foreshortened four chamber view, and this set of images can be used as default settings for all stages of the stress protocol. It allows us to offer all physicians a very accurate LV analysis. LV analysis for function, LV analysis for structure. I rotate technology, reduced variability during stress echo protocol, improves workflow, it's less time consuming compared with traditional echo protocol, and it's a matter of education because young fellow are very keen to see what's happened step by step, fully agree that this kind of technology should be part of routine echo stress protocol in most of echo lab. Innovation in you, Philips.